here's what I think inspired this video. This morning when I woke up, my daughter brought a book about dinosaurs over to me and said, Daddy, let's read, read this. So I'm looking through these pictures of the dinosaurs and, it, and this thought occurred to me. In the same way that dinosaurs became extinct, in the same way there are certain animals that became extinct, are there any people that became extinct? Any groups of people? In theory, you know, because, and I get it, with the DNA tests, it's based on genetic markers. It's not like if you show that you're Italian, that, because Italy is actually a younger country than in the United States. So it's not like, if you show up at Italian, it's not like, DNA respects certain borders, right? So what are the lost genetic markers? And, and my understanding is that Native American, that DNA strand is, is somewhat of a, of a hard to pin down one because the Native Americans for the most part, you know, we have Columbus Day, need, need I say more? <laughs> so if it's harder to track down certain genetic markers, which ones aren't even represented in DNA tests would be one question I have. But then also, so that's my first question. My first question is, which genetic DNA markers will not even show up in a DNA test because they don't have those samples or they don't have strong samples of those people? That's my first question. But the follow-up question is, which people no longer exist? They, the whole groups of people just vanished and the way that we would be able to differentiate that that genetic strand. We can't do that anymore because they died out a thousand years ago, a hundred years ago, 50 years ago. I never thought about that. So I'm asking those two questions now. Question, part A, which, uh, which groups of people are not being represented in DNA tests because we don't have a strong enough markings of them. So even if you are a hundred percent that, it wouldn't show up in the DNA test. And then number two, which groups of people already died out. So we'll never be able to do an a DNA test. Of course, if that's the thing, what if somehow you were one, the last one that existed in the world and you just happened to have been adopted? And I don't know. I think there's some sorting out to do here and I definitely can't do it alone. I need your help. Comment section right here.